Do any other species on other continents move like kangaroos? And if not, why not? Final answer. Yes, there are a number of creatures. Oh, I got one right away. Kangaroo rat. Yeah. Yeah. The kangaroo rat. Um, and you might argue that frogs are a little bit kangaroo-y. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I would just kangaroo say... Kangaroo rat's North American. There are a lot of... So first of all, I would point out uh, four-legged critters like horses have a certain number of stereotypical gates that they discover, right? Mm -hmm. There are ways you can move these limbs that result in certain uh, effective modes of locomotion based on how fast you're moving. Mm -hmm. Likewise, there are certain orga <coughs> organizations of limbs that result in different kinds of locomotion. So, you, you know, the uh, what would unite frogs and... Uh, kangaroos would be called saltation and saltation also known as jumping jumping saltatory locomotion saltatory locomotion which would be so there let's just put it this way you've got a bunch of different parameters okay uh we yesterday on our uh suet feeder had a creeper which is a kind of bird i absolutely love they're not very dramatic but these are birds that literally hop up the sides of trees and it's just very enchanting to me that they can do this and sometimes up the side of suet right and uh your poison dart frogs Mine. do the same thing mm -hmm. right yep. somehow leaping up a vertical surface it's even kind of hard to figure out how exactly you do that without springing off into the world but <laughs> and sometimes they do spring off sometimes mm -hmm. but but there's apparently a way but anyway the point is look are you moving across horizontal ground vertical tree trunks two limbs four limbs are you doing what a rabbit does where you've got two power limbs and two auxiliary limbs but they're definitely quadrupedal unlike a kangaroo unlike a kangaroo right. and then you have things <clears throat> like a pangolin right pangolins uh God, i don't even how do they move they're weird sometimes they're on four and they're kind of waddly like a like a raccoon mm -hmm. and sometimes they're on two and they have this little like they're diabolically planning things kind of <laughs> mode of locomotion <laughs> um pangolins pangolins exactly. that's they're african uh african and asian there are there are a number of different species <laughs> You're not wrong. yeah um yeah so here's um Here's just an image from Wikipedia. Yeah, this Pangolins. one does not have a good version of the walking along. No, and I, I kind of love the um, blue legs in the background for scale. Yeah. <laughs> that's what that's... You got a better okay, one? Yeah. yeah, show the better one. Oh, oh it's, mm. that's good, but I've, but, I've but he, seen many where they're on to... They're not brainy, are they? No. That's a really small head. It is. It's a really, small really, really small head. It's, oh, yeah, that's, ah, that's closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, they're like, their tails must be heavy. They're like, I mean, he's like way cantilevered out and he's not tipping over. I feel like I didn't know this animal existed. Yeah, I've yeah. never, neither, we've never seen, oh, did you see him when you were in Africa? Never seen yeah, him in no, we've never seen I, him in a while. It's on my bucket list. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's amazing, actually. The, oh my God, their heads are so small. Yeah. They're really, it's nice. a really interesting animal. Yeah. I mean, as I, I've told the story before, but, but my, they don't move like kangaroos. <laughs> no, they don't. they don't. But my point <laughs> just, is, just to get back to the question. My before. point is, how bipedal are you? Is a question, mm -hmm. right? A rabbit is somewhere in this, mm -hmm. right? It's not, it's quadrupedal, but it's got two powerful legs that spring it forward, and the other right. two legs are playing an auxiliary role. But then you that's also a great have, picture. um, oh wow. Oh, that's sweet. Negative points so for that tired. being in a zoo. But, I'm, so, um, I'm so tired. Um, uh, you know, birds are right, bipedal. Right, exactly. Birds are bipedal. And you're like, wait, what? Are they? Oh, yeah. I guess so. Right, but they don't have like little ridiculous arms like kangaroos. They've got, oh, that's their power. That's their power stuff, right? Yeah, although it's their in, wings. in the flightless birds, it's either reduced or turned into flippers. Mm -hmm. You know, all sorts of things happen. But anyway, yeah. my point is, look, you've got a bunch of, why the kangaroo wallaby mode is not much more common than it is a the kangaroo rat and i'm sure there are other examples probably not very many but their kangaroo rats a clear one mm -hmm. in which that has been convergently evolved by another creature mm -hmm. so it proves it's a mode there to be discovered it's not particular Sporing. Sporing. Uh, to the the um, marsupials but um why is it not more common uh 
Well, there is, um, I mean, lagomorphs, which you mentioned, you know, rabbits, hares, pikas, um, are like kangaroos, <clears throat> like I think kangaroo rats, um, really do best by keeping their hind legs in sync, like, you know, by jumping as opposed to by walking. I don't think pikas do. Pikas no? Pikas are weird. Okay. So forget or pikas for the weird, moment. They're more road um, like <clears throat> and like like frogs also like really do best by jumping the saltatory locomotion as you say and when you see i've spent a lot more time watching frogs walk than i've spent up close watching any of these other organisms walk uh, but like when you see a frog walking it looks weird and they clearly are not sort of in their best mode and this is when like if you were a predator not of my my frogs because they're poisonous so just don't even go there um but uh like that's when you would pick them off because yeah. they're like awkwardly going like well how do i like this one and then that one like what even am i supposed to do it's like if you told us now you just gotta hop everywhere all the time with your legs in sync with one another it's like well i'm i'm gonna fall on my face a certain amount right yeah. um i'm gonna forget and then try to do the other thing and then you know i don't know what happens i'm struck down by god or something um how did God get into this conversation? Frogs. Oh, right. Frogs. Deity. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. I knew you would understand. Yes. Um, so it's, it's, it's a tough way to move around because the fact is that a landscape um, often isn't actually perfectly made for two feet to be exactly landing right next to each other. Yeah. And so the the saltatory locomotion is uh, is is harder, and so presumably requires a particular kind of thing. Although you know, kangaroos aren't all that many places. Kangaroo rats aren't all that many places. Frogs are everywhere. Frogs aren't Arctic, um, but they get everywhere. On the other hand, um, the one of the big clades of frogs is tree frogs, and so they're also climbing, and. The hopping, they, they have such a big leap, much larger than um, a kangaroo, I think, per, you know, per body length, um, that they can sort of get themselves out of whatever ridiculous terrain they're in more quickly. I don't know. Yeah. Um, my instinct says that there's something... A, a lot of the trick with a macropod, a kangaroo is the balance of the tail right so that's it true. requires this big meaty tail mm -hmm. which you know you see that in tyrannosaurus too um the big balancing tail and the pangolins look like yeah mm -hmm. and the other thing is whereas not with the kangaroo rats right well the, so the, there's an allometry issue here yes. which is doing this at the scale of a kangaroo rat is much easier than doing it at the scale of a kangaroo and there aren't any giant frogs either that is true too um and never were i mean there's some kind of sizable frogs but the big amphibians were manders salamanders mm, yeah there's still a few of those mm -hmm. uh but anyway the the trick with the macropods the kangaroos and the wallabies is that a lot of the energy is stored in an elastic form from mm. one <laughs> thing the achilles the... <laughs> right. right and so yeah. my guess is that's not all that easy to accomplish yeah uh, design wise that there are a lot of ways that yep. you can you know break yourself with a particularly bad leap mm -hmm. and so anyway you've got a clade that figured it out maybe it solved maybe it innovated its way through that problem in some way that if we asked a physiologist who specialized on them they could maybe tell us but that you need an innovation to solve a problem before this becomes a mode that evolution can explore would be my guess and it's very different in a kangaroo rat mm. which is so small that that problem is much easier to solve 